Hello. Welcome to my first video. Today's video is going to be an experiment. The experiment is to make a chess AI. In this video, I will only show the result I get. If any of you wants to know for more detail on how to make it, tell me in the comments section. Then I will decide if I should make a video with more detail because I am quite lazy. Now let's start making the chess AI, but I have never made a chess before and have no idea how to make it. Luckily I found a good video on how to make a simple chess with no AI. I will give the link of the video if you want to watch it. Question time, which chess piece do you think is the hardest to make? The answer is pawn. The the pawn can move two cells forward but after the first move, it quickly gets tired and can only move for one cell, and if it's black, it moves backward instead. Also, when it comes to the end of the board, pawn morph into any piece you want, except king. But I decide to make it turns into a queen instantly, I don't know who ex choose to have an extra rook or bishop rather than an extra queen. Three days later. Finally I've done making a playable chess. Well, it's time to implement the AI for the enemy because I have no friend. <laughs> it took me few days to study a search algorithm called Minimax, which can be used to create the AI for any turn-based strategy game. Let's talk about the algorithm quickly. The Minimax can calculate all possible moves for both player for a certain depth I gave. Calculate the situation with giving value to all chess pieces. And filter out the move that leads to bad situation for the AI. Much, much, much later. Finally, I have done making an AI to play with. Gotcha, bitch! Hours later. Finally, I have done making an AI to play with. But it took quite long to make a single move. So I added a method called Alpha Beta Pruning. It helps the Minimax to break out the search if there is a better option found. With the method, the AI gets a little bit faster, it is still slow, but I am happy with the result as it is an experiment of study. After playing few games against the AI, I found a funny situation, because the enemy will only search the moves for the next three turn. If there no big difference in the next three turn, it will keep choosing the, the retard, retard move. move. Fortunately it can be fixed after remaking the situation calculator to consider the number of possible move. The second problem I faced is not considering winning the game, because this project is just for experiment, I thought there is no need to calculate the winning, and would be fine to just make the value of king more than all other pieces combined. But this happened, the AI give up his king to capture my piece then capture my king after that. So I remake the move calculator and let it stops calculating the next move after one of the king dies. Finally it's done, although it is still not good enough for the calculate speed and difficulty, but it is a fun experiment, if you have any ideas to improve it, comment down below. Lastly, I tested it against the AI on chess.com.
Okay.